Today, floating cities, aka cities with floating buildings that take up the sea and other water bodies are attracting quite a bit of attention and are becoming popular in many cities worldwide. Why? Because urbanization presents various challenges that city planners try to solve. Seas are rising because of climate change, presenting a danger to cities near the coast. And as Earth fills up with people, it may become one big crowd and there will be no room left for new residents. Floating cities could be the solution to these problems. Right now, some cities all over the world have started their own floating city projects. But what are these projects? Where are they located? And how do they promise to change the landscape of future cities? Let's take a look at some of the biggest floating mega projects under construction. On April 27, 2022, Oceanics Busan was showcased at the United Nations headquarters in New York City. It is the world's first prototype of a floating city that adapts to sea level rise, located in the Busan metropolitan city of the Republic of Korea. High-ranking UN representatives like Antonio Guterres, the Secretary General of the UN, as well as influential business leaders like Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, were present at the conference. This project creates a blueprint for all other floating cities around the world. The goal of this project is sustainable community development. The city is designed with renewable energy sources, water desalination plants, sanitation treatments, and food production systems. There are bridges and ferry boats that will connect the community to the mainland. Oceanics Busan aims at providing floating cities as an approach to problems related to increasing sea levels and climate change. By the end of this century, the IPCC projects that the global sea level will rise about 0.43 to 0.82 meters, covering the city's spread all around the coasts. This would have resulted in massive population displacement and immense economic losses amounting to billions of dollars. This idea about urban planning and development in the context of climate change for such a floating city mega project is significant to the global context. It's an innovative project that could change how people live in coastal regions. It is a sign of hope for a life in which we will live sustainably in harmony with nature. Oceanics Busan is expected to be completed in 2025. Once it is operational, it will be able to accommodate a community of 12,000 people. Another quite impressive futuristic floating mega project set to open in 2045 is Dogen City. The concept was developed at the Japanese maritime startup N-Arc. The planned floating city designed by an acclaimed architect, Toyo Ito, is set to lie off the coast of Japan. It is designed in such a way that it can live with itself as regards sustainably of green energy, waste management, etc. Renewable energy sources like solar and wind power would power the city. This city also involves sophisticated technologies like artificial intelligence, robotics, and self-driven vehicles. This project doesn't just prioritize sustainability. It's conceptualized as a no-illness neighborhood, and these technological advancements extend to healthcare. This will include an advanced, state-of-the-art healthcare system designed to offer personalized and proactive care for the inhabitants of the city. What's more, it will have an efficient mode of transportation that will reduce or eliminate traffic congestion, resulting in clearing the atmosphere. There will also be a green building infrastructure to save energy and water. It should house some 40,000 inhabitants, including 10,000 residents and 30,000 visitors. This city is very impressive in its design. It contains numerous hexagonal platforms. These platforms would be comprised of light, strong materials, which would keep them afloat in water. Housing, offices, schools, shops, eateries, social amenities, health, parklands and gardens, recreational zones, among others. Several firms and organizations such as the Japanese government, Mitsubishi Corporation, IBM, Nokia and Siemens are already involved in developing Dogen City. Although Dogen City is only at its early stage, it can be used as an example for other countries when they want to create their cities. The next project is quite different. 
as it looks like a turtle. The New York City-based Lazarani Design Studio has presented this project as a proposal for construction in Saudi Arabia. But why a turtle? Alexandros N. Tombazis, a Greek architect and designer, has created the proposed floating city of Pangaeos. The former supercontinent of Pangaea served as its inspiration. It is shaped like a turtle because it is a symbol of stability and longevity. The turtle also represents the connection between the land and the sea. One of the biggest challenges faced during the conceptualization of Pangaeos was the engineering challenge of creating a floating city that is both stable and sustainable. This was overcome through determination and dedication to the project. Alexandros was dreaming about a city where people from every corner of the world could gather and live peacefully. Tombazis and his team worked with engineers to develop a design that was able to withstand waves and storms. They also focused on using sustainable materials and technologies to power the city. Pangeos is designed to accommodate 60,000 people. It promises 19 villas, 69 apartments, and 72 terraces offering diverse views. In addition, the project can help with the issue of rising sea levels caused by climate change. It's still unclear where exactly Pangaeos will be located. However, the prospective building site is in Saudi Arabia's King Abdullah port. It will have renewable energy sources, water desalination and treatment facilities, and food production systems. The city will be linked to the mainland through bridges as well as ferry boats. An NFT crowdfunding initiative already exists to fund this $8 billion project, and the opening is planned for 2030. In this regard, Pangeos would offer an innovation in international architecture and urban planning. This city model can be reconstructed anywhere in the world and will still be sustainable and resilient. In 2025, we are expected to witness the launch of what is said to be the largest floating structure, Oxagon. Neom is developing it as a planned floating industrial city in Saudi Arabia, particularly as a port and logistics hub on the Red Sea. This project is part of Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 plan. It is designed to be a sustainable and technologically advanced hub for the manufacturing, logistics, and energy production. That's not all. It is designed to use renewable energy and minimize its environmental impact. Oxagon will also create job opportunities and attract investments to Saudi Arabia. It also includes leading companies and organizations that have contributed to developing it together with Neon, consisting of Bechtel, Siemens, Air Products, Baker Hughes, and DHL. Oxagon will provide housing for 90,000 people and generate employment opportunities for over 45,000 individuals. This will be situated in the Red Sea near Saudi Arabia's coast. It operates on industrial 4.0 technology over an area of around 48 square kilometers and up to 7 kilometers wide in some parts. It is an innovative endeavor with the power to redefine our entire lives, especially our lifestyles as well as our mode of operation. It represents its resolve for a sustainable and technologically inclined modern era. Our final mega project under construction is the $10 billion budget floating city called Blue Estate. The Italian architect Giancarlo Zema has come up with a floating city designed and titled Blue Estate that holds promise for hosting close to 10,000 people with its completion in 2025. Zema is known for his innovative and sustainable designs. This is the person who founded the Zema Design Group located in Milan and Dubai. The area for constructing Blue Estate is set over the Caribbean Sea, which stretches between the Bahamas and Miami. The design will take the form of a hexagonal structure made of lightweight, durable materials. The platform will have to be set in place and resist strong waves and storms. At launch, Blue Estate will offer accommodation that ranges from $20,000 to $1.5 billion. Mitsubishi Corporation, IBM, Siemens, and ABB are some of the companies involved in the Blue Estate project. This project is wonderful because of some fascinating features. Solar, wind, and wave-based hybrid energy. Furthermore, the resort will have an on-site desalination plant for producing fresh water and a closed-loop waste management system that will be resilient against climate change and natural calamities.
That's it for today. Let us know your thoughts about these floating city mega projects in the comment section. And please like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Thank you.